If you're tired of how slow your iPhone 3G has been running since it's upgraded to OS 4, I'm going to recommend and show you in five simple steps how to go back to OS 3.13. So the first thing you're going to want to do is plug your iPhone into your computer. Once it shows up in iTunes under devices, open it up and synchronize. So when you're synchronizing, make sure that you're synchronizing all your notes, your contacts, your calendar events, your photos, and also remember to back up. That's always a good idea. Once it's done synchronizing, what you're going to want to do is move up to File, go down to Transfer Purchases from iPhone. This grabs all of your purchases and brings it into your iTunes. The next thing to do is download both the iPhone operating system, which is 3.13. Also, you're going to want to download RecBoot. The links to both these downloads will be in the description. So to do so, go here, navigate to 3.1.3 for the 3G. Click on that and save it. Save it to your desktop. Also, you're going to want to get RecBoot. So go down, whether on Mac or PC, uh, click the link that suits you best. and download that to your desktop as well. Remember to install this program. So next you're going to want to enter into DFU mode. So make sure your iPhone is plugged in. Once it's plugged in, turn it off regularly. So hold down the power button, slide the power off. Once it's powered off, hold down the sleep and the home button for about 10 seconds, count slowly. And then let go of the power button. Keep holding your home button until you see that thing. It says connect to iTunes. On your screen you'll see this, iTunes detected in iPhone recovery mode. Uh, you must restore this iPhone before it can use in iTunes. So click OK. What you're going to want to do is choose to restore it with the OS that you just downloaded. Hold down your Option key or Alt if you're on Windows and click Restore. It'll then ask you to choose which ISPW do you want to install. So here on the desktop I got 313. Click on that one, click Open. It'll say extracting software. This process should take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. And when it's finished, you should be presented with an error message. Do not remove this error message. Don't click anything. Just wait. So there's your error. Don't press OK, not just yet. So what you're going to want to do is then open up RecBoot. So you'll see both. You'll see Exit Only and Regular RecBoot. You're going to want to click the one that says Exit Only. So it's as simple as that, exit recovery mode. Go ahead and click it. On your phone you should see the screen turn off and restart. A week, my precious. And uh, that's pretty much it. Once that's done, you can go ahead and click OK. And you get presented with this dialog box. So whether you want to or not, totally up to you. And that's pretty much it. Now you're using your iPhone at full speed at version 3.13. Hopefully it's helped you. It's helped me. Um, yeah, take care.